你忘掉那个就不要了我那个是告诉为什么你出来没有啊还没有我那个等一下那个我帮你点我那个你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你
president of the student union the student union that is a president of the student union for the students and he is our distributor your video and he is our distributor your video so i have recorded your video so i have recorded your video <音>你的手机是在开的 然后，你就可以讲话喽。现在其实听得到的，你要share Dr. Yangnan, can you hear me? Yes, I clear. You can hear you. Hello. Yes, I clear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, you, Dr. Yangnan? Yeah, yes, clear. Yeah, I can hear you. You can hear me, yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. I can you. start already, yeah? Yes, clear. You can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. You can start. Okay。Okay。So Hello, Dr. Yana, I can start now? Yeah, you can start now. Yeah, you can start. Okay, yeah, you can start now. Okay. Yeah, you can start. Okay, okay, okay. okay huh? Okay. Okay, I can. I can start actually speaking on my talk on this engineering edit today. I hope I can cover the main point within the millimeter of 30 minutes. I'm Dr. Sam over here, okay? Now, basically, we are actually speaking five main items I will be covering. Some of these are very basic. Actually, some of these will need more time for you to digest and read, actually speaking, you know. Especially on the part on the lesson that you can learn from some of the cases from Singapore, Malaysia, and Singapore. This will take a bit of time and also you need to need a better background before you can actually speaking understand. Anyway, I'll go through sort of the basic. There are a lot of things to learn on the engineering and take years for you to really understand this. Not actually over 30 minutes. Okay, let me just go through sort of the basic. Hope it will help you for some of you. Now, first of all, I will just look at the topic of edits itself. So basically, this topic of edit is down. Some people consider as the brand of philosophy. Basically, to me, they actually come to a very historical part that is the human values throughout all the year. It consists of things like right or wrong, good or bad, and so on. But yet it is also depend on the background because of our own belief and so on. Just so it's not actually speaking universal in a certain way. Now, for us, changing edit is more on considered as part of called applied edit by specifically, especially to our profession in the engine profession. Now, you will see that this diagram show you roughly where our actual edit comes from based on our belief. Also, some of these principles come from religion, that is not Christian, that is not Christian. All right? They are right at the end of the short edit by itself. Surely, engineering edit applies to our edit profession in particular. 
I'm just trying to show you some of the background. So you have different region backgrounds, sometimes you have to find that background. Is that issue? All right. Now, but show some of the people from Asia. Show some of our heritage. They did this show bring to our Chinese culture and China in the Chinese speaking Lao Tzu. We also confession in our state. Surely, many of the texts will be read, mostly the Western nature, how we can understand nature, some for Christian and so on and so forth. But this is not for Chinese, no, for Asian countries, especially for China and so on, we are actually in front of a lot of our thinking, actually, I believe, is to come from that, come from China to China. Now, I also have any very new thing that is the belief, the question of belief. For example, in the Chinese country, like the Chinese people, they have a very strong lot of belief, even today. Although, in a way, Papua New Guinea is a Christian country, but you will see that they have their own local beliefs. They actually, they have a fact on what I keep speaking in the ethical thinking. Now, for engineering one, very specific, that is actually there are some ethical principles which they are the same, basically, that apply to the engineering process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a one more thing I added in is on technology, because now we are actually speaking about the technological age. Actually, in the technological age, we have some special ethical issues with like the technology. Especially, the new invention, how does it affect our society? Because some of the new invention may have a harmful effect to our future generation. Now, these are some of the issues that arise in the technology, for example. There are issues that are not the copyright issue. There are more recently because of the cyber age. Uh, a lot of men, they occur. Now, for us, we also face an issue on privacy. For your working in a big organization. There also a private issue. This is actually an actual issue as well. Now, the other thing that many of us actually are very of great concern is genetically modified food, especially that we are eating. And more recently in the fall, in that celebration, we are talking about artificial intelligence. Uh, this one has another ethical issue. Because it actually touched on the part of our brain, I just speaking. How does it affect us in Okay. Now this picture shows us the genetically modified food we are eating, although we may know not eat We are actually eating them. Here's a picture to show you. Now let's look quickly at some of the fundamental principles that apply across the most professional, not necessarily engineering, they are pretty much sort of fundamental. It comes from some of these items, the human value, the religion value, and so on. Some of these are quite universal in general, but the application may be slightly different from very from country to country, for example. What do you think are right or wrong? What can be right? One country may not be right in another country because they do have a different belief. But same thing like human rights, it's a very sensitive issue. What is considered acceptable in China may not be acceptable in the Western world like in the US. We also have good or good. We also have fair and justice. Some of these words you will come across actually when you talk about ethical issue in general term. Now, there's one issue in engineering one that we must face. That is an issue of honesty. In fact, that is a key one in engineering practice. You want to be a qualified engineer, you actually speaking a license to practice as a professional engineer. In a professional legal exam, honesty is most. Right? If you fail, this in a professional review, normally in the form of interview, you actually will fail the exam. 
The way to assess this can be very sensitive. Normally, it's not through the written exam. It's through that interview. That's why all professional examination, before they issue your license, there is a test of interview. In fact, the interview, they do ask you questions related to honesty. You must pass. It means that you may be technically competent, but you fail this honesty test in theory. And they prove, they find that you are not honest enough. You will not issue a license to pursue anything. Now, here is a one, there's a word they're sharing, I'm telling you. Because we came across candidate for the examination, they're highly qualified. Many actually have a PhD degree, but they fail in the exam. Now, the other issue here is on the report itself. We had one special case of a candidate. The report, he claimed that he actually is a chief engineer for the I didn't know that what the interview work is he was a consultant for the project. During the course examination, he actually speaking had I can say over expand on his duty and responsibility in the report. He claimed something that he did not actually speak is a chief engineer. He actually he was actually Part of the project, it was not all on charge. Because of this, I can say a flaw in the report by itself, he failed the professional examination. So it's very important that in the professional review report, you write down what you actually have done, basically. Don't try to say something that that is not honest, I can call that way. You try to cheat, basically. In the report, it can be discovered because you do not know that one of the interview in fact you don't know to what you are. Yeah. Now, surely as an engineer, one important area when you are practicing is very important that all your design you are done, even your realizer, health and safety is a must. You must actually speak and ensure that the uh, uh, need your project or structure that you have designed. But comply with the health and safety is a must. All right? So it's actually, it is beyond normal ethical requirement. It's a basic requirement to be a professional engineer. Now, surely, we will come to the area of conflict of interest when you are working in the industry. You may find that the senior engineer may try to lower this health and safety requirement sometime for the, for the purpose of cutting down the cost. So as a professional engineer, you must defend the design to ensure that you must comply with health and safety. So there's a conflict of interest okay. over there. All right? It's very, very important. This one is a judgment issue, basically. Now, sharing digital now, confidential data is a must. Huh? It's very, very basic. Mm -hmm. You're working in the company. Even when you left the company, you cannot disclose the data for the previous company. This is very, very basic for confidential requirement. You're not allowed to disclose it. Now, conflict of interest is always a problem you face. You can see that many, I can say, Test of professional edit is referred to conflict of interest. It can be between the employee and the employer. But you must very important as an employee, you're a professional engineer. What you do, you must ensure that your design will comply with the safety requirement, health requirements. Sometimes you may be conflict of interest with your employee. Lawyer, yes, you, know. yes, you, know. you must be very firm on this. You cannot say because you are at the, I can say, instructor and employer, you do this. No, no, that is not. From a professional engineer point of view, you must make sure that your design are compliant with health and safety requirements. It's a must, actually, beyond the, the employer. Another society will come first, basically. In professional edit, society. 
before you come down to the employer or your own interest. So there's a hierarchy over here. We talk about conflict interest. Public comes basically. All right. Yeah, this is a big, big issue in some country. It's very hard to handle. Corruption issue, huh? You apply to country like in China. You'll find that what is considered a corruption in the Western world, honestly, it may not be considered as corruption in China. It's a very sensitive issue. Like in the case of Papua New Guinea, it happened to work in that country. To them, corruption is everywhere, honestly. Then you got to how do, are you going to exercise a professional? I can say, compared with the code, it's very sensitive. Not easy, but you still have to use your own judgment on this. Corruption is there. It's 100% no corruption. Very difficult to have that. Even in country, to be honest, even in Singapore. We still have case of free, even in Singapore contact. All right. Now, many professional body they do lay down certain rule basically or code source for the engineers to follow. In the case of professional body, yeah, many that including professional body and also beyond the professional body. We also have some of this rule laid out in the government act like Singapore. We do have the profession engineer act. Some of, some of this actually, I can say, basic obligations are written in the act by itself. Sorry, when it's written in the act, it will mean that you can be sued in the court. And also, not only you can be fined, also, you can go to jail in the case of Singapore. That's in the act. You are under the normal code under professional body. Yes, the professional body can take action against you, display action against you. They may remove your membership or suspend your membership for some period of time. That's all. Normally, they don't go to the extent of fine you. Only the ex will be able to do that. It's a main difference. Let's say you see that there are some of these code. We are between the silver, UK we have silver, I see electrical, mechanical. In the US, what a very important code you can actually follow as a gun is the National Society for Professional Engineering. They do have many good cases for you to follow. Some of you, you can go to NSPE website. They have a lot of cases corrected over the year. They also explain to you how do they actually uh, comply with the code of edit and also why they didn't comply and what actually speaking the recommendation okay in fact they do guide you along it's a very good one nsp they are like i said it's one of the very open professional body in the u.s for the professional engineer uh, these are the picture ice and so on these are very old professional body now in the american side there are two body silver with asp the nsp is one of them that you can go to the website they can give many good cases that can, uh, I can say, contribute to the professional engineering. These are one of the good ones. You can learn many things from that. Now, for ASCE one, in fact, some of these things I already highlighted to you. Basically, at the top of the edit is whatever they are designed, you must take care of the public, help, and also on certain. These are masks. Huh? So it has any conflict of interest between as an interior employee, all the employer, this thing comes first. It go beyond your employer. Okay? Go beyond employer. Now the other thing is also very basic competency. Competency means in these cases, surely your civil engineer must be competent in your area of civil engineering. You should not actually speak and go and do or perform service. That is not within your own area of expertise. It's a very basic requirement. Now, the other thing is that in the ASC, they mentioned about it and highlighted it. That is on the fairness. You should not compete unfairly with another engine. Okay? This concern with uh, okay? 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 Now, the other thing is, there's an engine. There are a few keywords here. First thing, 
Integrity here include honesty. Very, very important. When you say dignity means that you must have due respect to the profession. All right. So you should not make a just speaking and say statement against your own institution. Okay. You must uphold the honor of your profession. It's very, very basic on this. Now, the other code that you can actually refer to, they are very good. That is actually for ASEA. You can download this thing actually from the internet. Now, I'll show you the basic one. There are there six of them. They also give the rule of practice. You are practicing. And they got a long list of obligation to be an engineer. Very well structured. In fact, you want to get a license, whether in this country, you have to go to one, two, three. It's very, very basic. Now, I only can show you the rule of practical engineer. In fact, they are repeating for ASC. There's not one different. First, health, safety, and welfare. Do the power. This thing comes first. Number one, you talk. Before you come to your employer for your working, you must be competent in your field. field. And the other thing is, when you are making a statement, especially public statement, you cannot, this statement must be objective and truthful. This is very, very basic. Actually, there are some rules, some profession, there are some rules on this public statement. You are working with, a, like in Singapore, the government sector, you cannot simply make public statement to the newspaper because there are certain things Different country may have certain control when you're working in the government sector. Same thing you are working in China. You can then make simply make public statement. Only certain people holding certain position, they can make public statement. You are not please don't do that. If you do that actually speaking, they can you will face disciplinary action from your own employer. Okay. Now surely there's certain thing. Number five, this is concerned with honesty, eh? because because you are not supposed to cheat, actually speaking, that's very basic. Honestly, actually imply this as well. Although the word honesty is a very generic word, all right? Now, I will be quickly run through this file. I can say uh, some cases, but this one, you will need to have the technical background if you can understand. All these cases, basically, you can get the detail from the internet you want to. Now, I will just quickly go through the Few cases are very interesting. Okay. Right? There are reasons behind it now in Singapore. In Singapore, we actually have more than two. Actually, there are two. I want to mention about it because that the impact on the engine profession in Singapore. First is the hotel New World, basically. It happened in 1986. This hotel collapsed, you know, actually speaking, in a few minutes, basically. And it was designed, basically. In theory, by an engineer, happened he already passed away when this building was collapsed. There are many changes in this building. At that time, during that time, because it was actually built in the early 60s, we don't actually have professional engineer brought that in Singapore. So, changes are made, not actually checked by another qualified engineer. And also, now, let me just show you the hotel new one. The first cases. Now, let me show you this one. Now, it was actually the commercial building. The whole thing occurred. It killed basically. Now, the important thing is the plan. They discovered that. And train them. Not the plan. That was the time because they don't actually the PE box in the early 60 time basically. So this actually what happened? They discovered this. Surely after the chain, Singapore government tightened the X that all design must be done, actually speaking by professional engineer. And also need another level of checking, but another more experienced engineer to check all the calculation to ensure that all these are done correctly. That so our professional engineers X was changed after the 1986 Act. First change. The second case in Singapore, that is a Nico Highway collapse. 
Now, this is a very interesting case. H2004. You can see. Yeah. This is a highway. This is called a Nikko Highway. In fact, they are trying to build the MRT underneath. In fact, you know. This area was actually speaking reclaimed land. Reclaimed land over here. So during construction, the whole thing collapsed. Now, the, this collapse actually is considered a very deep excavation. They have actually have done all the necessary calculation, everything. They also have used salt land, actually finite element salt land. They do all the simulation so that assume that everything will be in order, will be same. But this thing happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. There's a few reasons basically here. First, they discovered that the engineer designed this deep foundation. Sherry supposed to be a civil engineer. But for this excavation, you need deeper knowledge in civil engineering, especially in foundation. So after the Nikko Highway project collapsed, you know, they required the civil engineer to go to another exam. That is called geotechnical engineer. In other words, you are civil engineer for deep excavation. You need to have additional knowledge on this. So for deep excavation, show you the technical definition how deep is called deep, basically. The engineer, at least speaking, must go to another examination. Then you'll get a license called professional engineer, geotechnical engineer. Before you're qualified to design those youth excavation foundation and so on. Now, in fact, Nico Highway Project, we, we have a few lessons learned from that. This is not because the design basically has a problem, basically. It actually speaking, it's a construction equally has a problem because the contractor doing the excavation, they actually excavate too fast, but they didn't support it basically in theory, you know, fast enough. This is not detected, actually speaking, in the computer software. The computer software actually makes some assumption that you excavate how deep you must support it back. That is only the assumption for the engineer point of view. But the contractor did not actually follow these stages of construction. So it comes to a very important point is you need to have experienced supervisor, I mean engineer for this project, to ensure that when you excavate, at the same time, you must support it back at the same time, fast enough. And in fact, the instrumentation also, they did not actually check the data. In fact, the instrumentation do show sign that the soil have moved. But data corrected, but the engineer in the office did not read the thing in time. That's why they did not give them enough warning sign. In other words, if they have seen the record, they actually speaking, they will actually stop the work first before the collapse will happen. That's the reason why construction by itself, in other words, this project shows you a few things. Computer software only can help you up to a certain limit. It doesn't it do away what you call supervision by the experienced engineer and also you must supervise. Sometimes it can be due to lack of supervision. You never you sit in the office but you never go to site and supervise. And it can be you supervise, but you don't have to speed it. You cannot even tell, you know, from the not any signs of a possible collapse. That is what we learned from these two interesting projects in Singapore. Now we have others project that have problem, also as a not problem. Now, other than that, we have a few other interesting cases. But that, that is actually one of the interesting projects come from Malaysia. Uh, this one is a very long story. Actually, is I can say it's a big commercial project. They call a Highland Tower project. Now, you can see that you can see that actually this one is standing. You can see the few blocks you see. They all come like that, we don't understand. How come the thing happen? How come the thing happen? This project, this thing, was located 
on the skill set. Many people lack the skill set, the high rise building and the skill set. Good scenario, very windy and so on. Project built on two shop, actually speaking, have higher risk than to be a building on the ground. Right? So, so, this is a few building can show you that. It's not tough to get to work with the building, you don't have to go down like that. Now, the issue no, coming. No resident in this project try to sue the developer of the project for compensation. Also sue the local council, in the government council, approving the project. Now, in the case of Malaysia, There's no way basically you can win the case in TV against the local council, the government. In fact, they are protected under the law. You cannot sue them. They are actually speaking of proof of drawing based on the drawing submitted by the professional engineer. All right. So you cannot sue the local council for the mistake basically in theory. They may. They can't. Even the court also. So that's how the court decision is. Cannot be held liable. So that's why the resident cannot claim, actually speaking, damages from the government in theory. This is actually the lesson learned in Malaysia. Okay? Now the other case, ah, this one is a walkway that I might be missing here. Now, this happened in the US. Huh? Uh, this one, one of the worst case in USA case, Actually, happened within the hotel, okay? The walkway basically collapsed, right? This walkway was added in later. It was designed, but it was, the design was changed by the contractor. The original design is okay, basically, but the modified design is not okay. It was not checked also. It was built. So the modified design, actually speaking, make the design become, I can say, not safe. Interior means cannot carry the loading. This loading, basically the people are going to stand there on the lingway there. So that's why during that function, you did a hotel, the whole lingway was full of people, basically. The whole lingway cannot take the loading, the whole thing cannot. Basically, you will see that this case is actually speaking, it's a design fault by itself. Although the contractor requests the modify of the design, so that you can do the thing easier in theory, it's not become more economical. The engineer go and change the design, but no one check is it correct or not correct in theory. They only detect the mistake after the thing the color happened. So that's why, like in Singapore, we do have a checker system. Hope that you will actually. Any mistake made by the professional engineer before you build one, right? after you build this thing, the thing will not happen. Now, this is a very interesting case. You can study the whole thing. There are a lot of details show you what happened with the original design and then the modified design becomes suddenly not safe and so on. All right? But this is a very, surely, the compensation itself. It's a big issue. This is a hotel. Nothing goes wrong with the hotel. It's the whole lingway actually to bring product to the ground for only. Okay? So actually speaking, they add in this lingway later. All right? I hope that's all. Quickly, I've gone through this, this bit. But you can go to the internet or you can go through this PowerPoint. Okay? More details are given in some textbook also for the rest. Okay? Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, thank you, Dr. I don't know why it's a time. I'll try to Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Uh, President. President. You know, learn something about it. Good okay. lesson. Good okay. lesson. So the engineer so LP is a very important for the for the professional engineer in Myanmar. This is why that we are organized the the attendance are 
allowed to ask the question and discuss with the doctor someone girl and you can email me and then that include the lecturer in Myanmar as well as a postgraduate student so uh, we expect that we will uh, continue to uh, arrange uh, uh, such kind of the lesson every Sunday every Sunday and mostly arranged by mostly the arranged by the as well as the commissioner teacher commissioner teacher so the attendance are so the attendance are thank you for attendance you can uh, ask you can uh, ask a question to the doctor to the doctor samakyo hello doctor samakyo hello doctor samakyo me go me go ya ba le no me ya ba okay you can email me anyway if you have any question you want to ask in fact we do have actually uh, additional information in the form of i can say like ebo they actually give you some of the basic reading you need to go through some of the basic you cannot straight away jump down you know uh you know how to tackle some of the ethical issues so you take years to learn through some of the read experience knowledge and all these things before you can do a good job okay 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 you can ask a question you cannot you cannot uh, uh, speak the english, english well uh, don't be in amis and i can translate to him Oh, si ama niyu le ba. Oh, si ama niyu le ba me o ble. I have no question for today, sir. Yes, I. Uh, yes, I. Uh, then thank you very much. Then thank you very much. Uh, for above, you, 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 you can email me the yeah. letter. It's okay. Okay, sir. And letter that you can. And letter that you can send an email to him. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, son, what I will do is, uh, what I will do is, uh, I will record them your video, record them your video, and post online, and post online, and, send and also send to the copy. As well as uh, I can, as well as uh, I can, I will send to the video to the, the video to our the groups, our engineering group, to the manager, to the manager, so to the engineer, so can, uh, can, learn your lesson. Okay, so today's lesson. Okay, so today's lesson will be will be the conclusion. Because of thank you very much. Also, thank you very much for the Dawa Samankyao for your contribution. My contribution and very good lesson. So we Myanmar engineer. Very appreciate your kindness, your kindness, and your proficiency, and your proficiency, and your and your student as a very student as a very student engineer. We hope future in the future we will work with you. Ah, we will work with you to to student in teach a student in Myanmar. Thank you very much, Dawson. Thank you very much, Dawson. So